Unit 8, Lesson 16, Box Plots. Number 1. Each student in a class recorded how many books they read during the summer. Here is a box plot that summarizes their data. A. What is the greatest number of books read by a student in this group? According to the values in this box plot, the greatest number of books read by a student during the summer was 15. B. What is the median number of books read by the students? According to this box plot, the median number of books read by the students during the summer is 6. C. What is the interquartile range, or the IQR? Remember, the IQR is the difference between quartile 3 and quartile 1. The value for quartile 3 is 10, and the value for quartile 1 is 5. The IQR for this dot plot would be 10 minus 5, or 5. Number 2. Use this five number summary to draw a box plot. All values are in seconds. Each in their own color. I've highlighted each item that we need to make sure that we include in our box plot. Now would be a good time to press pause and give it a try. Here's a look at the box plot that represents this five number summary. Its minimum value is 40. The value for its first quartile is 45. Its median value is 48. The value of its third quartile is 50. And its maximum value is 60. Number three. The table shows the number of hours per week that each of 13 seventh grade students spent doing homework. Create a box plot to summarize the data. The first thing that I did was order the data from smallest to greatest. Now would be a good time to press pause and give it a try. Here's a look at the final product. This box plot summarizes the data. Press pause to compare it with yours. Number four, the box plot displays the data on the response times of 100 mice to seeing a flash of light. How many mice are represented by the rectangle between 5 tenths and 1 second? Remember, originally there were 100 mice. Here's a look at the number of mice that are between 5 tenths and 1 second. Notice 5 tenths is at the first quartile and 1 second is at the third quartile. So between the first quartile and the third quartile would be half the amount of mice and half of 100 is 50. Number five. Here is a dot plot that represents a data set. Explain why the mean of the data set is greater than its median. The values eight and nine are much further to the right than the rest of the values, and that causes the mean to be greater than the median. Number six. Jada earns money from babysitting, walking her neighbor's dogs, and running errands for her aunt. Every four weeks, she combines her earnings and divides them into three equal parts. One for spending, one for saving, and one for donating to charity. Jada donated $26 of her earnings from the past four weeks to charity. How much could she have earned from each job? make two lists of how much she could have earned from the three jobs during the past four weeks. If you need to, press pause and give it a try. I've drawn this circle to represent her combined earnings. After she combines her earnings, she divides them into three equal parts. These three equal parts are spending, saving, and donating. The information tells us that Jada donated $26, so in the donating section, we need to list $26. Since all three parts are equal, then spending also has $26 and saving has $26.
now we know that the combined earnings is $78. Our final task is to make two lists of how much she could have earned from the three jobs during the past four weeks. We know that the total amount earned from all three of her jobs is $78. In green, I have babysitting listed as BS, walking her neighbor's dog I have in red as WD, and running errands for her aunt I have in purple as RE. My first list is just going to have $26 for each of the jobs. $26 for babysitting, $26 for walking dogs, and $26 for running errands. That totals $78. My second list also has to total $78, and I've decided just to take a couple dollars off of babysitting and add those dollars to walking the dog and running errands. That was an easy way to get a second list, and it still totals $78. Congratulations, you've completed Unit 8 Lesson 16, Box Plots.